Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy Ketchum, and welcome back to Sammy Ketchum TCG. Tonight, we are going to be taking a look at Kiram VMAX. That's right, Kiram VMAX. All right, this deck will be featuring Kiram. All right. Um, this is the first online, this is the first online Lost Origin deck that we are doing. Um, <laughs> one of the reasons being is probably he is really on the cheap end. <laughs> you know, um, it's really on the cheap end. Um, very cheap to build. Um, so this is what we're going to go with you know because i don't have a ton of money to buy codes to get garatina and you know and i really can't get like enough codes to get everything i want so far so we're going to take it one step at a time <laughs> so today we're talking about kiro all right he has 330 hp of course he's a water pokemon the really ice Pokemon, not water ice, but um, <laughs> he's weak to ice. <laughs> it's not an ice Pokemon. <laughs> All right, he has an attack called Max Frost for three water energy. All right, you may discard any amount of water energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 50 more damage for each card you discarded in this way. So his base does 120. So if you discard 50 from him, that's 150. 150 plus 120 is 270. All right? That is actually a great number. With the choice belt, that's 300 damage. You're instantly knocking out every single V-Star in the format. And this format is played with a lot of V-Stars. So that is very, very good. Kiram VMAX also has this awesome ability called Glaciated World. Once during your turn, you may discard you may discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a water energy card, you can attach it to one of your Pokemon. This is good for getting energies on Kiram VMAX. Not only is it good for getting energy on him, but you could get energy on things like Empoleon V. All right, and you can also use it to power up um, Radiant Greninja as well, as well as Palkia, Origin Form Palkia V-Star in this deck as well, if you wanted to. So this ability can power up a number of things just by hitting a water energy off the top of the deck. How are we going to put a water energy on top of our deck? We're going to use Orangaroo, all right? Orangaroo's Primate Wisdom says once during your turn you may switch the top card of your deck with the card in your hand. You know. So we're gonna search our deck for and or for a water energy or already have an energy on our hand. We can use Capacious Bucket to get an energy. If we already have one in our hand, that's good. We could use Energy Retrieval to get back an energy from the discard pile. You know, but any way that we have a water energy in our hand and that we can use a Rangaroo to put it on top of our deck, then we can use Glaciated World. You know, that is a sweet, fantastic combo. All right? Sweet, fantastic combo. Um, we have Kieran V. Let's not leave out the V here. 220 HP. All right? Its first attack is actually really decent. Rapid Freeze. Attach any number of water energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon in any way you like. So if you have a whole bunch of water energies in your hand, you can attach them to your Pokemon and get them ready for the next turn. Even though you may be leaving this Kiram V out to get knocked out on the following turn by your opponent, your board is going to be so set up it may not even matter. So that is actually really, really good. Um, if Frost Mash just does 140, 
Doesn't really sound like a smash to me. <laughs> All right. Um, like I said earlier, we have Empoleon V. Um, Empoleon has this great ability called Emperor's Eyes. As, as long as this Pokemon is in the active position, your opponent's basic Pokemon in play have no abilities except for Pokemon with a rule box. So any Pokemon with the rule box, they'll have their abilities, but everybody else won't. This will shut down decks like Lunatone Soul Rock and like Regigigas. Also, it can stop things like Miltank. Okay? So, um, but yeah, Empoleon V is very, very good for stopping those basic decks. You know... And it's a very, very good tech in here since this is a water deck. Since we accelerate energies, this could be very, very good. All right. Let's see. Oh, how can we forget this? Origin form Palkia V-Star. We have two of these. All right. Um, 280 HP, subspace swell. Um, and that does 60 damage base. This attack does 20 damage more for each bench Pokemon, yours and your opponent's. Alright, so very good attack. And the uh, V-Star power we're using in this deck, Star Portal. During your turn, you may attach up to 3 Water Energy cards from your discard pile to any of your Pokemon in any way that you like. Alright, so this is very good for powering up um, Palkia by itself, or you could power up you could power up a Kirim. Power up a Kirim, get it ready for Max Frost. You could power up an Empoleon as well and get it ready. You could also power up a Radiant Greninja. You know, so there's a lot. There's so many ways and so many great plays this deck has that can allow you to do great things. Um, those are the main Pokemon. Um, the Barrel... Um, with its ability will help you to draw industrious incisors. Once during your turn, you may draw cards. You have five cards in your hand. This is very, very good, very, very key in this deck because we don't really have too many good draw supporters in this deck. The only supporters we have in this deck are Irida and Melanie. All right, now Melanie can draw, but Melanie is really mainly used to attach your energy from the discard pile to your Pokemon. So that's more energy acceleration. The more energy acceleration you have, Kyra can hit for more damage. All right. So, you know, there we go. That is the deck profile. I think I may play a couple of games here. You know, maybe one or two. Oh, this deck is so much fun to play. Oh my god, look at this hand. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Boy, I'm about to rock it. <laughs> oh my god, look at this hand. Insano. Freaking Insano. Alright. Um, just to tell you a little bit about this deck while I'm setting up here. Um, the build for this deck, um, I basically took my Ice Rider, my Ice Rider Palkia list and basically just kind of slid it over and I just substituted, I just substituted, um, Kirim for Ice Rider. I just substituted Kirim for Ice Rider with a couple of exceptions with the Orangaloo and such. And, um, and, and it's really been working well. It's really been working well. So, but this list is so good. I think it's really well. All right. So this looks like, um, looks like I'm facing like a Lost Zone engine deck. Um, don't know if they're playing Garatina or not. So they have... Two in a lost zone. So they could go for a cram. Not sure what if they're playing Garatina or not. Let's do some battle VIP pass. 
Let's see if I have Greninja's in the deck. Our Greninja's in the deck. Let's see. We got out those two. I'm going to go get... Got a Palkia. Got one Chirom. We have a Chirom in a hand. Okay, so Chirom's okay. Pokemon. Okay. Not too much worried about anything else. Okay. And we're going to get the barrel. I mean, or Bidoof. All right. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do um some conceal cards. <laughs> Busted. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Do do do. I'm gonna go Ultra Ball first. Let's go Quick Ball. Quick ball. Actually, oh, wait, 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 wait. Go quick ball for um a ring? No, crowback, crowback, crowback. And since this is the lost zone engine, let's go here. Okay, and then let's go. I don't want to ultra ball. Let's quick. Let's quick ball. And we are going to fail this Ultra Ball. We're going to fail this Quick Ball. We're just going to fail it. Okay. And then we're going to go Curl Back. Draw five. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to switch. Mmm. Okay. So, alright. But I am going to... Attach an energy. How many energies do I have in here? I have two in there. Let's attach an energy here. Yeah. Okay. And choice belt here. Okay. 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 So that's going to be three in the law zone for them with their comfy. I mean, I see grass energy, so I assume that they may be playing Garatina, and they have Radiant Greninja in here too. So this is going to be the fourth card in the Lost Zone. So their um, Cramorant can attack. There's a Pokestop. Chorus. Yeah, they have to be playing Garatina. They have to be playing Garatina in here. I just haven't seen it. They have to be playing Garatina. They have to be playing Garatina. They have to be playing Garatina. They wouldn't have the grass energy if they weren't playing Garatina. Alright, so they have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six in the Lost Zone. Whoa. They also have Sableye as well. That could do something. Okay. So. Six. Alright. They're four off from using Sableye. Yeah, they're attacking with Cramorant. I don't see the Garatina yet, but. Oh, they're just benching. They're just going Cramorant. Okay. So, all right, I'm gonna evolve. I'm gonna evolve. <laughs> and I'm going to evolve. <laughs> let's go, my dude, let's go. Okay, I only have two energies in here. Let's draw with the barrel first. Busted! Okay. Alright. Let's go. Um, Michael Long. Draw two. Okay. So there's that. Now I have three in here. Alright. So now I need to get this out of the active. So let's go this. Um... Irida is going to get, um, <laughs> I really don't need a water Pokemon. 
Let's just... I guess the thin to deck, maybe? Alright, let's get the um, full art, I guess. And then we're gonna get the cost for trigger. Okay. Alright. Um, the Greninja can attack? Let's get rid of the Sableye. Let's get rid of the Sableye. Because, I mean, he's going to have... He's going to have the Kramer Mac no matter what. Actually, yeah, it's good to get rid of the Sableye. Because with this out, he can't really... Okay. And then now, let's go... One, two, three... One, two, and then we're just going to do this, and I'm going to attach one here. Alright, anything else I could do here, or do I want to do? Eh, I don't want to do that. Um, let's just smash them. Alright. So let's attach here. All right, so now they have to escape rope or boss or something out of this. So there's Garatina in a discard pal. So yeah, they do play Garatina. So yeah, they do play Garatina. All right, so they're gonna have to like switch or something out of this. Is this an escape rope and a switch is already gone for them. So if they have more switches or a boss or something, they can get out of this Empoleon. Empoleon is also really good against this lost engine. So there's the Garatina, okay. Something I could basically knock out, like take advantage of, and get more prizes. All right, so he still has his Greninja because it is a rule box Pokemon. So he still has that. Let's see if he has like a switch or escape rope or a boss or something to get out of my Empoleon. He's putting his energies back into the deck. Ooh, his deck is pretty low. Alright, let's see. Let's see what they got. Mirage Gate. Okay. Mirage Gate. They have enough for that. Oh, oh, he's attacking with Greninja. He's manually attacking with Greninja. With the Mirage Gate. 90 on two Pokemon. I mean, okay. I guess he's gonna attack the Empoleon. And then something else. I mean, he can Mirage Gate and attack. I mean, that's for sure. He can Mirage Gate and attack. You know, that is, that is a play. You know. Oh, he's not attacking him. Yeah. 200. I mean, he could definitely knock this out, but he, I guess he's softening this up, I guess. Um, all right, so, I mean, Okay, I just added up. Let's put an energy. Do I want to do? Yeah, I do want to see more cards. So let's um. Yeah. Okay, Melanie. All right, let's go on to this. Okay, so there's that. All right. Let's 
swirling slice. Alright, let's see what they've got here. Let's see if they got, you know, same thing, switch, scapegoat, boss, to get out of it. Um, oh, actually, well, he can attack with the Garatina. Okay. Yeah, the Garatina can knock me out. But in turn, I can knock out the Garatina. So, if Garatina comes out and knocks out the Empoleon, I knock out the Garatina. So, that's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, all right. Okay. So those falling back into his hand. Three. Hmm. This doesn't have enough damage on it. So he can't get that. He can hit that. Maybe ping that. Man, he is he is going for that Greninja. Holy cow. How many Mirage Gates has he gone through? Two Mirage Gates. Is one in here? Let's see. No, one is not in there. Alright, so it looks like he's going for Garatina. It looks like that's what he's going to do to knock out my Empoleon. That's what it looks like. So... Yeah, conceal cards, okay. Yeah, he's going, yeah. Okay. And then, and then I'm gonna knock out the Garatina. Okay, so let's do this. Um, let's go. I don't have a Rangaroo. That would have been good to get a Rangaroo out, but it's all right. Um, let's go energy on him too. We're gonna go Irida for um maybe a cross switcher energy. See what I got in my deck. Yeah, let's get that. We're getting that. Okay. Okay. And then we're just gonna go. Actually, and then if he doesn't change my hand. If he doesn't change my hand, I can just go Greninja for game next turn. If he doesn't change my hand, I can just go Greninja for game next turn. Yeah, I can just go Greninja for game next turn. There's no way he can go... He can't knock this out on one turn. He can put 12 damage counters anywhere, but he can't knock this out because this is 130. So... So he can't knock this out. He can knock this out. But, you know, that's... 
practically about it. He can't knock this out. Next turn, if he, like, if he, he needs to Roxanne me right now. He needs to Roxanne or Marty me right now because right now I have game. Right now I have game. Actually, I don't even need this capacious bucket because I also have the training cord that can let me get back in energy. Actually, wait a minute. No. His, um, his what's the names aren't down here. So, yeah, I don't have game. His comfies aren't down here. Yeah, his comfies aren't. How did he knock me out? Oh wow, I didn't, I didn't think he had enough to knock me out. Wow, yeah. So, oh wow, so, yeah, I can't bring him out now. I can't bring him out now. You can't, no. I, I thought I could, cause I, I, he had the what's his name down there, so. Yeah, I can't bring him out then. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to get an energy. Hmm, man, I don't have the barrel. Um, yeah, if I send this out. He could do 110. He could do 110 on 20. Huh. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh, man. And now my hand is like really, honestly, Oh, the Melanie, the Melanie. Oh, quick ball, quick ball, quick ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Orangaroo, okay. Okay, this could work, this could work, this could work. So we go Melanie. Attach for the turn and then Primate Wisdom, this is the combo, baby. This is the combo. This is what this deck is supposed to do. And then, Glaciated World. Attach. And then, I can also do this, if I wanted to. I can do, I can use another Glaciated World, but I'm not gonna do that. Now, the only way he wins is if he has like a boss's orders. The only way he wins is if he has like a boss's orders. Oh, Thornton. Okay. What is he? Oh! Wow! Oh, man! Wow, that... Oh, that is so... That was so cheesy, man. That was so cheesy. Wow. Okay, man. Wow, that, that hurts, man. Oh, wow. Oh, I, <laughs> that was crushing, man. But man, that was a brilliant, brilliant game. A brilliant game. Like, to show off what the deck can do. All the combo, the combo was there. We had it. You know, my opponent was just very lucky to have that Thornton card. We were playing against another Garatina deck. Well, actually, maybe not Garatina. Another Lost Zone deck. So one of his Mirage Gates are down. 
Wow. Another Mirage Gate deck. Another Giratina deck. Man, these things are everywhere on the ladder. So, yeah, it, actually, it is another Giratina deck. <laughs> oh, my God. These Giratinas must just love me. All right. I haven't seen, like, the Sableye or the... Or the... The what's his name? All right. So what are we going to do? We're going to go Ultra Ball. Okay. Going to go Ultra Ball. And we are looking for my shiny bat. <laughs> okay. All right. Looks like we're good on Pokemon. Let's see. Okay. Uh, we're all right. We're okay. All right. We're okay. All right. We're going to attach this. We're going to go Crobat, draw five. Busted! Okay. So, we are going to go Battle VIP Pass. We are going to go that and Greninja. Let's go. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Oh, another lost song deck. Holy cow! What the deuce? Oh, wow! These lost zone decks love me. Holy guacamole! These lost zone decks love me. All right, we're getting the shiny bat. All right. Let's see, what we got we got Palky is okay. One. Kiram V Max. Uh, so two Kiram V Max surprise. That could be a problem. I mean, we've got Palkia who can attack as well. So that's not a bad thing. I can also go... Play this. I also want to go. Also gonna go. I think I'm gonna go Greninja. Yeah. We're gonna go Greninja. This is a good play. And then we're gonna go Crobat. Draw five. And then if we need to, we still have the Greninja. Busted! <laughs> Actually, we could bench this too. If they're going, um, you know. Actually, yeah. That, 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 that's really good. And I'm going to go switch right into this. I'm going to go attach this to um, Kira. And then I'm going to go... Battle VIP pass for the Palkia. And then we're going to go. This. We're going to go um, Michael Long. Draw two cards. <laughs> and if I wanted to, I can attach that. Um, yeah. Okay. Done. Let's 
So his Comfy has no ability. His Orangabu has no ability. He has to switch. Um, switch, escape roll, boss, out of it. Oh, it's, 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 um, Gudra. It's Gudra. It's Gudra. Okay, it's Gudra. So, this is actually my first Gudra deck that I've seen on the ladder, period. <laughs> I haven't played against one yet. So it's Gudra. But they don't have their, they don't have their comfy engine unless they like escape rope right now. They have to have escape rope right now. Let's just see if, let's see what's going on here. Let's see if they have their escape rope. <gasps> oh, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, so I have three energy in here. Um, I wanna go, mmm. Let's go. this. Getting energy back. And then we're gonna go draw some more cards. Cause... Okay, Ultra Ball. Very, very good. Very, very good. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, so I'm gonna go get Palkia. Let's get, let's get this one. And then, since now that I got Ultra Ball, what do I wanna... I can get the Cross Switcher. I can get the Cross Switcher. Cross Switcher. And go Palkia. We're gonna go Ultra Ball. I mean, now I could get Bibero to draw more cards. Or I could get um, Kirum and just go for the play. I think I'm gonna get Bibero. I am trusting my deck here. I'm gonna trust my deck. Hmm, I can retreat and then cross Richer. Yeah, let's just cross Richard. All right, I'm gonna send out this, evolve this. Now, these four cards, these four cards off Industrious Incisors. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, my dude, let's go! Uno, dos, tres, ah, ah, ah. Hmm. Let's freaking go. I need to do 120. This will be. I just need to go 50. I just need to do 100 more. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Let's go, my dude. Let's go. Kira VMAX showing how it's done. The Ice Bad Boy. Adam914. <laughs> hmm.
Man. I wish they would let me stall like this. <laughs> Shoot. Alright, so... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, we got it, baby. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Curum VMAX. <laughs> That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. Wow. But this is amazing. I basically just copy pasted from my Ice Rider list. Well, the Ice Rider list was basically um, Grant Manley's list that he played at the World Championships and got 11th with. I just swapped Kirim for Ice Rider, made a few changes, added more, added more battle VIP passes, added the Orangaroo, you know, added a few things. This deck runs amazing, amazingly well. And it's so good. Added the energy retrieval. This deck is so good. I absolutely love it. I absolutely think it's, I honestly think it's really, it's either as good or better than Garatina and Zorak right now. I really think it's up there. I really think this deck can compete. Y'all better not sleep on this ice Pokemon. Or it'll give you the cold shoulder. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Mischief Managed.